such a pleasure to see all of you here today, and I'm so grateful for your invitation uh, to allow Brick by Brick to come here and partner with you to try to address a real problem, which is the problem of water and access to clean water. This is going to be a 15,000 liter rainwater harvesting tank. The rain will run off the roof into the gutter and run downhill into the tank. Within probably four weeks, if we have a typical rainy season, this tank will be, 15,000 liter tank will be completely full. And that should be sufficient water to last until the next rainy season, which will be in the spring of, of next year. As you can see, we're using interlocking bricks, which are the, the technology that we have we've, uh, are trying to promote in Uganda, which is an environmentally sustainable technology. So I think the first step is to develop the technology, prove that we can build it, and then I think the other step is just marketing and getting awareness out there so that people know about our technology. Yeah. My name is Robert Jefferson. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I serve on board, the board of directors of Brick by Brick. I'm actually the treasurer of the board, and kind of my function is to make sure Brick by Brick utilizes the resources it has and that the contributions that come into the company are just used in the most efficient way to serve the people and serve our mission. And yeah, when I first saw the tank, you know, I was, I, I felt a sense of achievement, just the progress that was made. You know, I understand what goes into making the tank. You know, being the treasurer, I'm actually able to see the financial tracking of like almost every brick that's made. You know, we track the cost of the bricks, you know, the quantity of the bricks, and the cost of, you know, each project that we do. So if we can really tell this story and make people realize that there's kids here that have to walk you know miles a day just to get water you know before going to school before doing their chores. We, two years ago when we started Brick by Brick Construction which is our for-profit construction company we were we were committed that that company eventually would provide a significant amount of the revenue that would fund our community-based program. One of our objectives also our aim is to get land and construct our own buildings. One, they will be our offices. Two, we can advertise, we can market what we are doing. We can have even a small a, a library to show what we will do in schools. They get conferences, they get meetings, workshops, and then they can make use of the library. Our goal is to be able to go to a meeting in the U.S. of potential investors and donors and say, the first word for us to say is, we don't need your money. Our money is coming from Ugandans building their own country. And we're just here seeking maybe a little help, a little investment too, so that we can expand, so that we can provide more opportunity, we can provide more jobs. Ultimately, we want, to, when we walk away from this tank, we want this community to feel like this is our tank. We built it. And they did. You know, they provided a lot of the resources that made it possible for this tank to be built. Hopefully this model will work and it can be replicated. You multiply that, you know, throughout Uganda, you start to at least imagine how this country can have what it so richly deserves, an opportunity like that every child has, as we expect in, in the U.S., every child born in this country is born with an opportunity to succeed, an opportunity to have a healthy and happy life. And that's what we're all here for. It may take, you know, it may not happen in my lifetime. It may not happen in our lifetime. But we've been successful in getting the trust of our Ugandan friends that we're here for the long haul.